Hey future doctors, what's up YouTube? Today we are tackling one of the biggest concerns for pre-meds, concerns that I heard yesterday, right? So getting into medical school with a low or lower GPA. If your GPA isn't where you want it to be, don't worry, this doesn't mean your dream of becoming a doctor is over, or I shouldn't say don't worry, it's fair that you worry, but there are strategies you can use to strengthen your application and stand out. Like I work with students every cycle on, even if your GPA is lower than the average for acceptance students, let's talk about what you can do, right? So first, what low GPA really means in med school applications, let's talk about that because it can sound like a great GPA, but competitive wise, it could be tricky. Let's talk about how you kind of build academic confidence. Let's talk about real life experiences and pro tips to leverage other parts of your application so that you know you shine. We're gonna go through actionable advice to help you really kind of stand out. Also, if you want to learn how I work with students on elevating your message from personal statement to interview prep, schedule your free call today. The link is in the description with my application and we can chat about whether or not we're a good fit. All right, so let's talk about what a low GPA means for medical school. The term kind of low GPA is relative, right? In the sense of like the average GPA for MD schools is 3.7. The average DO is 3.5 to 3.6. A low GPA can mean below 3.3, for MD below 3.2, for DO, you know, these are very kind of marginal, but science GPA, so biology, chemistry, physics, math, those are weighted more heavily. So weak science GPA is a, could be a bit more concerning. So check the GPA ranges for schools, you know, you could use MSAR, you could use the ACOMS College Information Book of DO for DO programs, focus on schools with ranges that align with your stats. Remember, you wanna kinda of do a balanced school list. Also kind of craft a GPA repair plan. So if it's really low or kind of lower than you would want to apply with, talk to your pre-health advisor, think about what your options are to kind of rehab that GPA. Complete a post back potentially. There are post backs that, you know, they're not all created equal. Some are ones that you stitch together to do upper required courses so that you kind of are, you know, doing it by yourself. Others are tied to a med school that if you keep a certain GPA, you're, um, you know, guaranteed an interview or admissions. So some prospects are kind of very specifically geared to pre-meds. Example, a student that I worked with with a 3.0 GPA completed an SMP, got a 3.8 and applied and received a 4DO acceptances along with the acceptance from the school that they did their uh, post back at. You want to make sure if you're doing this kind of rehab program that you're getting a strong, obviously as strong as many A's as possible, as many strong kind of, you know, academic performance, especially in courses like organic chemistry or like, you know, the science courses to really kind of show that. I have had students that have had 3-2, 3-1, 3-3 that counter that with a higher MCAT score. So you want to make sure you're dedicating at least three to four months of focused, dedicated study time. So high yields of resources, UWorld, AMC practice exams. I've had students, and I don't connect with any of these, but Kaplan, MCAP Rose, I've had students that have worked with a number of these and have done really well, you know, connect with them. So like I said, I had a student just this last cycle, 3-2-5-15 MCAT, and they got multiple interviews and acceptances to both MD and DO. So you really want to kind of think about how you can quantitatively balance out your GPA. Also, you want to think about what your story is saying for you. So own it acknowledge your GPA it's somewhere in your application, whether it's in the impact statement. I don't love sharing kind of the GPA, kind of like red flag, quote unquote, in your personal statement. But if you do, I would say that it's only like a line, but you kind of fill it out. That paragraph, you fill it out with what was happening, whether it was medical in nature or personal in nature. I'm um, have an example. During my sophomore year, I struggled to balance academics with a part-time job to support my family. While this impacted my GPA, it taught me the importance of time management and resilience. Over the past two years, I've demonstrated significant academic growth, earning a 3.8 GPA in my post back coursework while also volunteering at a free clinic. These experiences have reinforced my commitment to medicine, but also my kind of has clarified my ability to thrive under pressure. I got this from an excerpt of a secondary of a student. I would not put this in the personal statement, but I would like to kind of see this either in the impact statement or a secondary like this was um, specifically because it really kind of will address it, but I don't like to take away space for the GPA in your personal statement. There are moments where I say, okay, we can do this because it fills out nicely because it aligns with the why medicine. So we can, you know, 
for my students that I'm working with, we kind of tailor this experience. Also, let your activities shine. So show me leadership roles. Show me your work as an EMT. Show me kind of service-oriented work, volunteering at an underserved population. I have a student that is a scribe working in a high-volume E emergency department. And so how they document patient histories and observe the importance of clear communication in high-pressure situations. But they kind of talk about how they had to work, working full-time while studying full-time. They just just put that phrase in their activity section when they talked about the medical scribe and it advances the case as to why potentially they have a, a lower GPA, right? You also want to think about being very strategic. Target schools within your GPA threshold, target schools that are, you know, have a mix, have your reach, have your target, have your quote unquote, there are no safety schools in med school applications, but have your programs where your GPA is higher than their kind of incoming class, let's say, or the stats that they are um, purporting. Also, make sure that you are not only statistically in line, but that your mission aligns or like your brand of pre-med experiences align with the mission statements of your, the med schools that you're applying to. Really kind of offset your GPA by showing that you have incredible work ethic, intellectual ability, and interest, curiosity, specifically whether it's, you know, through a clinical supervisor in a letter of recommendation or through a lab or kind of like give them, okay, so numbers wise, you may not be where you want to be, but you're showing your growth, resilience, and contributions to the intellectual fabric of your kind of community, whether that's a lab, a class, a volunteer gig in different ways. So show, don't be shy to show intellectual curiosity in your application, even if the numbers may not be where you want them to be, because it really rounds that out. So there's a lot you can do right from the post back and a master's to a higher MCAT score and focusing on that, but never forget to tell that story, to tell your kind of well-rounded um, story. And don't be apologetic either about the GPA. I see that sometimes too, where students want to be so hard on themselves on the page. You want to kind of move past that. You want to make sure that you're messaging, that you're elevating your, your messaging as focusing on your strengths, that you are an asset to their medical school program, right? And so you wanna make sure that you are showing that not so much kind of berating yourself and being hard on yourself because of a number, right? It's important, the GPA is definitely important, but you wanna make sure that you're showing them why you're strong, why you're a strong candidate and not how hard you are on yourself about kind of the GPA. I hope this is helpful. If you wanna chat about how I work with students and see if we're a good fit to work on your messaging, to really kind of craft that application from personal statements interview prep, grab your spot on my calendar and we can chat soon. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.